Today I'm going to show you how to scan the upper and lower denture into the CEREC software using the Prime Scan. Today we're using uh, CEREC, it's fi the 5.1.1 software. Uh, we're in CEREC Connect. We're going to go to Jaw Scan, Impression, and then we're going to get ready to scan. So. The biggest component in trying to, or the biggest consideration when trying to scan a denture is just considering the size of the camera. So when you're looking at a big smooth area like the palette of a, of a denture that doesn't have any landmarks, you want to add landmarks to help communicate to the camera, give it some anchor points so that it can figure out where it is in space um, so it can continue to continue to pick things up. So what we like to use is liquid dam and you want to give or you want to lay down some anchor points here just using a design giving it some geometry so that the camera can orient itself as it scans. So you can you can do these in different ways. This is how just whatever strikes me that day. Is, is how I design it. In this area, can be a little bit of trouble here, not all the time, but we're gonna add, add some designs here. Okay, we're gonna cure these. And the, and the liquid dam, it does tend to cling to the tissue very well in the mouth. Like if you're trying to scan someone's palate and you're in a smooth area and the CEREC can't really figure out where it is, we will use the liquid dam in those situations. A lot of times the palette though will have enough anatomy that we're able to not use it. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get started. We'll start with the lower today. And I found this this is a pretty good pace here. Oh, don't want to bang your camera on the counter. All right, here we go. We're just going to keep going around. Okay. Okay, let's see what we've got. Things are looking pretty good there. Okay. And then you want to select a spot to roll over to the intaglio. You know, in dental school they taught us intaglio, and then I went to a CE course at Fort Gordon in Augusta, and they informed us it was pronounced intaglio. So, so they had us bring it up on the dictionary online and use their uh, little pronunciation tool, and it does say intaglio. So I guess maybe the G is silent.
Well, we lost one marker there, but we've already got that area, so we should be good. Very good. I believe that was the last little spot. Now we always want to save after we do an arch. I found that in Connect, it's a uh, it's wise to to save after you finish scanning an arch, because what if you scan a you're almost done with your second arch and things disappear on you, or the computer crashes. It can be uh, disappointing to say the least, <laughs> particularly when the patient's uh, trying to be patient with you. All right, so we're gonna go to the upper here. I found this is a pretty good pace when using the prime scan. Um, you know, if anybody, if you if you see this and you have some insights to make things faster or better, you can you can certainly let me know. Let's see if we can. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and scan the palatal of the T. Go back and catch the lingual of that incisor. Move my finger out of the way. Okay. Okay, looks like we're coming along nicely here. Gonna come up to the anterior and catch that. There we go. Now I just need to find a good place to roll it around to the inside. There we go. And I found if this is a wa if you're doing this with a wash impression, it makes it a little there's a little more texture to it. It's a little easier to scan. You can certainly spray these. Is another way to do it. I'm not opting to do that today. And then you can also put your liquid dam on the inside as well. A lot of times I'm I'll choose to do that, but today we're just going going without it. Okay, so the only place I think where we're really lacking is 
right behind the incisors here. There we go, we're just going to rotate up in there. I think that's got us pretty good. Catch this spot. And let's see. Let's see, one spot on the on the left side there. So anytime you can anchor back to the teeth, it makes it a whole lot easier. So there you go. Or right, let's see. Patience left. Okay. Very good. And now we're going to grab our buckle. Okay. So here we go. We're going to get our buckle scan. So there we go. Alright, so that is... That is how we would scan an upper and upper and lower denture in and situations where we might use this say patient has a set of dentures and wants a new set of dentures we might do a, a light wash impression inside the existing dentures scan them in three dimensions scan the bite send that to the lab and let the lab go ahead and do a wax setup for us um, and there's there's several applications but it's just an important skill to know that you can and know how to be able to uh, scan dentures uh, into the CEREC software. Thank you.